All right, hello everyone. It's Team Rocket Place here with episode four on our Minecraft Zoo series on my channel. So let's get started with today's animal fact, which is a really interesting one, one that I wasn't aware of. Did you guys know that the female lion actually does 90% of the hunting? And uh, if you guys really think about it, it's true because usually when I see videos, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen those videos where like they're hunting and taking down another wild game. Um, yeah, it's usually the females, which is kind of like, God, I never really thought of that. Uh, but I guess that's the thing. All right, so for today's episode, guys, I want to show you guys what I've been up to. So I decided to just flatten this whole area right here. Um, and I decided to make it a tree farm and uh, in the thoughts of doing like a log shop in the shopping center but the thing is that I went over there and I got beat to it unfortunately so uh, the good thing is that at least I, all these logs um, I'm actually gonna put into use because we're gonna use a lot of um, wood in our buildings and uh, yeah just in the background in general I think the wall is gonna be made out of like wood logs um, I think it's just gonna be really interesting like I said I got plans so far I've gotten a full we're almost a full one look I'm missing a few of the jungle and the birch but we basically got a full shulker of wood guys that's a lot of wood and oh wait I think we're missing yeah we're still missing some mold but I'll just make it up over here um like I said I'm gonna do two rows on on each of the woods I got dark oak right here I got two birch and obviously I don't have enough saplings to do the both rows uh the same thing with the dark oak but for the um, regular oak I do and uh, yeah for the rest of the wood I'm just gonna leave it over here for like depending if I need more one wood um, I'll probably just make a bunch of it so for today's episode guys I want to start off by going over to the shopping area because I want to go see if there's another beacon that's for sale because last time I went over there and uh, there wasn't one it was I think 64 diamonds and uh, right now we got 70 four diamonds and i think that's it yeah because i mined all the ore that i had and um yeah it wasn't that many diamonds to be honest um all right guys so i need to go get my also my daily stack of iron all right guys and coming into vra's uh shop right here you guys can see that yeah they did a lot of work or at least she did and that's really crazy so i want to show you guys why i'm not going to put up the wood shop um all wood types one stack for diamond or book price four stacks for two diamonds yeah, I don't think we could beat that price. Uh, this is new. Um, this one though, that's crazy. That's four different uh, stacks of wood for one, for two diamonds. That uh, that's one for two, uh, which is basically what I was gonna sell them for. Um, but yeah, she's already selling them, or at least somebody here, because since this is a market, uh, it could be anybody doing this, and it's really really good. Like I really like this uh, build right here by her. And um, yeah, so she has all her books as well uh, that she was doing before, her colored dyes, uh, some more materials, and we got big old grizzly. I don't think I've seen him before here in the server. Uh, it's really interesting. Seems like he's working on a book or something. Um, yeah, so they're selling, oh, this is what I want. Um, so how much are they selling? One uh, stack for a diamond. And uh, I'm actually gonna buy one so let me just pick that up really quick and another thing that she's offering is that she's renting out beacons guys and it's three diamonds per hour um, and it seems like somebody's doing it right now so if they don't have a beacon over here for sale because last time that I checked they didn't uh, somebody beat me to it I am gonna be renting out one and I'm uh, hoping to get a few more diamonds uh, but la like I said last time that I checked they didn't have one for sale uh, they don't have one again <laughs> really all right guys and another shop that i wanted to check out if they have restocked is this one. Ooh, and it seems like they have and if they do have shulkers they'll probably have elytras i'm hoping they have elytras because i've been wanting one for so long guys and yeah they have elytras and they're enchanted as well uh 30 diamonds for one elytra oh Man, that's a lot. The thing is, if I go to the end myself, like how hard is it gonna be? Like I'm risking getting killed, and then I, yeah, there's no way I could go over there and get an elytra. So guys, I'm gonna have to uh, cough off some diamonds and actually uh, buy myself an elytra, which is, I think, the best thing that we could do right now. Um, 
and it seems like they do have a bunch of like stuff or items that they found as well so let me just make sure that it is a uh, 30 diamonds equals one elytra and uh, there we go we even got ourselves the achievement so the thing is that i don't have any rockets so i wonder if there's anybody that's selling them um and then we got journeys over there so uh at least we have an elytra now guys we could actually go uh further and uh, yeah get a better uh, a view of everything the abyss buy two diamonds for one diamond one per dive all right guys i gotta check this one out and um i think is it over here this says the abyss exchange one diamond for two at the bottom don't make your pockets with pigs it's bad for the environment recommended to have water and chance on gear and uh, yeah guys we got respiration three so whoa look at that this is crazy i wonder how long it took them to actually do this like actually dig the hole plus add all the water this looks beautiful though wow Dang it. no what happened i think i want to oh what's that i think that's a bug right there i don't want to take a picture guys because this looks beautiful wow it looks really really nice and i need to hurry up because i don't know if i'm gonna even make it I don't know how deep it is um is this oh there we go guys so one diamond or two and something i could have done is just uh gotten one diamond out of here right um because that would have been my two wow this is really beautiful i don't know what that is oh all right i think i'll make it but look at this guys this is beautiful i need to take a screenshot all right guys i took a screenshot hopefully i could even make it to the top oh i don't want to drown I'll be so embarrassing over a screenshot. I think I'll make it. Wow, this is so beautiful. I wonder who made this. This is gorgeous. I think I am gonna commit to getting the beacon at least for a couple hours, guys. And yes, it's still here. So beacon rented by uh, VR for one hour. I think that's just like a kind of like a example right so i do want to do it so i think they provide tool right here okay i'll borrow it since they already have it I actually bought one myself and then let's take our um beacon and it comes with the iron oh that's gonna come in handy so hopefully i don't lose this because i think if we do um yeah we are fine it's two times the beacon so two beacons um and two picks <laughs> we do lose it all right so beacons or beacon rented by so i need to figure out where i could put this all right so beacon rented by panda bear 707 there we go so i guess we just come over here uh leave it in this box and uh all right so beacon rented by panda bear 707 all right guys so right now the time is 8 20 um in my time pm so i guess by 10 10 20 right um and i really i need to hurry up um so i don't know guys i don't know if i should go under my base and dig down there which i think is gonna be um worth more money or the most diamonds because yeah if i go over who's that um because if i do go over to the mining world uh most of the area is already mined so already like branch mine uh so i have less chances of actually finding diamonds i know there's a cave around here um i know there was one around here and i guess i'll just use yeah right here and i'll just use it just to dig all the way down and uh yeah so i think this is the good spot so i'm just gonna dig all the way down guys and then once i'm at y level i'll go y level 13 um then i'll come back and i'll place the beacon and everything i guess we have a giant ravine going across um our our actual base i think i'm just nope i didn't want to do that i'm just gonna cover this up and i think if i go this way yeah if i go this way um i won't end up falling down Ooh, i'm glad i didn't hurry here up and the thing is that the shaders make it really hard to I like know where we're going and it seems like I ran into a cave uh, so let me just block this as well and then we could actually come this way. all right guys so I'm not gonna lie this is a little bit scary but I think um there's gonna be a good spot for the beacon so I'm just gonna try to uh, go as far as I can from the actual lava 
Because the last thing I want to do is yeah, fall in there or have the beacon uh, fall in there or just have like a creeper blow up and and just destroy it all. I should have brought a lava bucket. I wonder how she got all this iron. That's crazy, man. It's a lot of iron, you know what I mean? Um, and now I need to dig this way so we can place it somewhere. Wait, so if it's one, two, three, it's going to be right here. So it's not going to end up where I want it, but that's okay. I'll just dig everything. All right, so I made it to the top and I want to see where we ended up. All right, so we ended up right here. So we got a giant ravine going through this whole area. Um, all right, so let's head back down, guys, and place uh, the beacon. So let's place the beacon, and um, let's hear the sound. And we got both of the achievements. That's pretty cool. All right, so now I think I have, yes, I do have the iron. Um, so let's just place it down. And uh, we want haste too. There we go, guys. Bam! I like that sound. That's, that's a really cool sound. All right, so let's just put our iron there. And I think we're ready. So let me just place some of this. And then I need to start mining um, some coal. That way I can get some for torches. And I want level 12. And if I'm correct, this is level uh, 12 right here. So I think we could just start uh, mining right here. And I'm just going to go three high. Um, I think that's gonna be a good way or like a good amount and I'm just gonna head this way um, and uh, yeah so I'll just mine guys and hopefully um, I get lucky and we get some good materials all right guys so I'm here and and, and it looks so weird because instead of being the void it's the like the overworld texture which is kind of really like like putting me off um yeah so i already went and i started mining guys but i think i was a little bit unlucky i didn't really find uh, many diamonds um i actually went through quite a few picks if you guys see here um i got four five uh so right now before i return pick and beacon um i still got like 40 minutes but the thing is i didn't have no more beacons or no more a pick so I might as well just go and return it um, I found maybe I gotta say I'll go check right now um, actually I'll do it right now I got 20 ore um, and then I think I ended up mining because I didn't have no more a uh, silk touch I mined like four of them um, and they gave me six uh, diamonds so I was a little bit on the unlucky side and there's a bunch of enderman heads but last time I took 23 that I got by doing this um, and uh, yeah guys so I got a little bit unlucky 20 it's not that good you know what I mean it's not that great so we'll see how many diamonds that gives us but at least now uh, we could go and rent the beacon for whenever we need it and uh, yeah it's actually a, a really good um, it's, it's fair amount you know what I mean three diamonds for an hour in real life it's it's really helpful because if you need a, a certain thing like resource for example um, Go, going over there to the uh, mining world like uh, the day before before I knew that she was doing this uh, where she rented out the beacon so I ended up finding Firewolf I believe his name is um, I don't know if he's online right now yeah Firewolf and uh, he was right there in the mesa and I went over there to mine a bunch of terracotta and uh, I asked him you know like if I give you three diamonds can I use the effect of your beacon and uh, I'll just mine right here and uh, he, he agreed to it so I just used the effect for it and uh, yeah so it came from me giving him three diamonds and um, I just used the effect and got maybe like four shulkers worth of terracotta um, and uh, yeah so it was kind of like you know I help you you help me kind of thing and um, yeah so it was it was really uh, nice of him to do that the thing is I don't know if he rented it if he did I just paid for his beacon but it is what it is I mean it helped me so no matter what you know what I mean it, it is what it is um, or probably it was his. It doesn't really matter. Like I, I needed it, and I was willing to pay three diamonds for it. And I was probably there maybe like 20 minutes or half an hour to fill those four um, shulkers. So I got what I needed, and I think it's really helpful. So this is a good thing that she's doing. Um, so yeah, guys. So let me just finish 
uh, getting all these and look at all the other pearls that I'm getting um, mending these and then uh, we'll go ahead and take it back all right guys I'm back here at VR's place shop and uh, yeah we're gonna return it so I wonder if she took the diamonds or she even noticed that was somebody over there um, all right so I don't think she's noticed and um, all right so let's get it out I need a one of these and um, so it's VR's and then this one right here so this, everything should be perfect and uh, let's just return it so let me put it right here and then VR's beacon rentals uh, so it does have the beacon plus there's two stacks of 64 and 36 uh, blocks of iron so there we go guys and um, there we go so I think that's fine right there I'm just gonna let her know uh, through a message that way she could come and pick up the diamonds and uh, that way she could know that I basically did it so yeah I did it with how much um, 14 minutes to spare um, and that's going over there to the end and mending all the tools and everything uh, back I didn't mend this one because it doesn't have mending but yeah guys so I guess we could go ahead and see how many uh, diamonds we ended up getting let me see if I have a non silk touch a fortune pick right here and then I uh, might as well just take out the diamonds and uh, let's see how much uh, we actually got like I said uh, we need to add six because um, I ended up using the fortune on six of them so I guess we could just do it right here and uh, let's go ahead and see how many diamonds uh, we actually get and uh, there we go so hopefully it's a lot guys let me know in the comment section how many you think we're gonna get so yeah we still got quite a few we already got 14 and it seems like I've gotten a diamond and quite a few got another one diamond and and I think one more than uh, than I've gotten uh, more than one if that makes sense I don't even know what I just said but Hopefully you guys do. So we ended up making 48 diamonds, which is not that bad. Uh, but the last time that I went mining, I ended up getting, I uh, probably spent a little bit longer to be honest. Um, I went uh, branch mining and uh, yeah, I think it was a little bit longer than I did now. And I ended up with two stacks and like uh, a little bit like 11, I think I remember two stacks and 11 diamonds. So um, I've done better. So I think, what, how, how much is this plus six? Uh, that's 54, right? Uh, so I got a total of 54 diamonds, which is not that bad. Um, so let me just put them together and see how many we have so far all together. Oh, I got 37. So I got just a stack and a little under 11 um, or half of another one. But I did buy a elytra for 30 diamonds. So that's 30 diamonds we would have had. But I, come on, I can't, I can't do that. I need an elytra in this and to play Minecraft nowadays. Uh, but I want to come over here and let's see. Oh, the do they no they don't sell them do they rockets two diamonds for one stack that's quite a lot um and no uh, he still doesn't have one and oh what's this and if you guys are wondering why that's uh, magenta and black um that's actually from the texture pack it's like one of the blocks that hasn't been like registered uh so you guys will see it um here and there and I kind of want to break it just to see what diamond it is, but I, or diamond, what block it is. But I think if I go like this, it'll tell us uh, what kind of uh, block it is. So, uh, oh yeah, it's on the right side. Targeted block, Minecraft stone bricks. And then this is targeted block, Minecraft stone. And what? Stone, stone. Wait, that doesn't make sense. It's just regular stone. So I wonder why it's like that. I wonder if it's the solid stone. If you guys know what I mean, which one that is. It's like the one that you smell. Um, and then it gives you it. So the leak cauldron. Ooh. All right. So it says the leaky cauldron. We go in here. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is really cool. Um, what does that say? I'll put the carry. <laughs> I can't even pronounce that. Um, I don't think it's done yet. I think they're still working on it. Uh, but it's really interesting. It's really cool. Quality, uh, Quidditch supplies. Quidditch. I think that's a game, right? I think, uh, Impulse has mentioned that in, uh, while doing some of the live streams. Uh, Makers of Fine Wand since... Oh, I think this is, uh, 
Harry Potter reference, if I'm not mistaken. The thing is, I've never seen it, so I honestly don't know. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go out of here. This is really cool. It's really interesting the way that he's doing it because it's basically a shop. Um, and another thing that I want to point in, to point out, guys, that I went and I mined a bunch of bricks, and then I noticed that they do have this, the same data pack where um, every, like, ball clay ball equals a brick so when you mine one uh, block of uh, of clay it basically gives you four little clay balls right each of them is a brick a block of brick so uh, they do have that and i was able to get it a lot and i was planning on selling it but someone beat me to it and yeah it seems like they're they're in stock the thing is that i need bricks too because i know that the zoo they use bricks a lot in their builds you know what i mean so uh, that's something that i do need as well so yeah and then we got like four different areas of selling wood so my ideas and then the glass there's like three different stores that's selling the glass so i'm really limited to what i can sell like i honestly don't know what i can sell because everybody's selling everything so i kind of i came late but maybe if i if i get something and i can sell it like really cheap uh, maybe i could get like the sales and uh, steal it from somebody else um but yeah guys so let's head home apart from flattening this area out guys another thing that i did since i was talking on the phone to be honest with my girlfriend and uh usually when i when i do that i like playing minecraft i'm usually playing minecraft when i'm talking with her on the phone and we talk for hours so doing something like in minecraft finding something that i could do where it doesn't really require much um, thinking to do like I enjoy doing it so while I was talking to her I know I'm gonna use this area for something so I knew that I need to terraform it and uh, it was only like four or five blocks deep uh, so I went in and I made it a little bit deeper um, so this area was like completely full up to I guess all this right here in the stone literally like this whole area that has stone uh, was covered so it was up to maybe like here so it was like five blocks high uh, so I took this whole area out I, I don't think I touched this one right here but I just basically uh, did this one and that one as well and then just did a little bit over here um, and that took a while guys because like like I don't have a beacon so yeah that took a minute um, to do uh, I ended up getting like maybe a few inventories full of blocks um, so yeah, that's another thing that I did and the, the sun is in my eyes um, So I think what I'm gonna start doing now is just um, getting a bunch of wood and uh, Getting ready and uh, basically come up with an idea of like maybe get a map going You know what I mean to like plan the whole area out and I got a bunch of cows now So I'm gonna start um, killing some of them and I, I need to work a little bit with the villagers uh, that way I can start getting like glass I think that's gonna be a good way to get glass and uh, some other materials from them Because uh, it's just gonna come in handy and then maybe that's something that I could do because a lot of people They're using emeralds as money as well like VR's market. It's just emeralds So the only thing that's uh, I think the diamonds is the beacon brand so but apart from that everything else is that so I think I'm gonna do that and um, yeah, we could work with that just to get started. And uh, like I said before, I went mining for a bunch of clay guys. And uh, that's what I have doing here. I ended up tearing this area apart and adding an automatic smelter. Um, so down here, we have some of the bricks. And if you guys notice, we got uh, a lot of them right now. Um, I got this thing going non-stop all day. And I actually have the input up here. So uh, we still got most of uh, a double chest full of a clay block and if you guys didn't know what i was talking about before where um every clay ball equals uh one break block um so basically right here right normally we need uh four of these to make uh one block right and but the thing is since uh, we're in a big server you know a lot of people need brick blocks so what they ended up doing is that they have a data pack uh, that way like you could get more out of the small resource that you have because if somebody goes mining for a bunch of clay you know what I mean uh, they'll basically mostly take all of it so uh, if somebody starts building out of a brick you know what I mean it's not gonna leave much resources for somebody else so it's a really cool idea to do that and uh, yeah so uh, normally we'd need four of these to make a brick block uh, but now we could actually make um, let me just do it again uh, 16 and it gives us four so one for each so a stack of bricks will equal a stack of 
um, yeah, of a brick block, it's not just the actual bricks. Uh, so that's what I meant earlier by that. And I have some Enderman heads. I don't know where I'm placing them, to be honest. I, yeah, down here. I'll just set them there. I don't think I'm going to use them. Uh, but since I had them in my inventory, I might as well do that. Yeah, so I have this melting um, non-stop. And uh, yeah, guys, so... Um, I don't know what to do next. Let me just come up here and get an idea. Oh, yeah Let me go up there and maybe we could see if there's something that we could do with the area I'm king of the world <laughs> All right guys, so we can see the area where we're working at and it's actually a really big area But since we're really high up, it seems like it's just a small um, area uh, What oh, I think that's the trunk of a tree all right guys, so we marked it out right so we have up to that block right there and then up to that one uh, and then up to that one over there the marker that I have and then this way Yeah, I marked it up over here in the hill uh, So it's a fairly big area right here that we could work with and I guess we do have part of this uh, that we could actually make it into um, the entrance of the zoo so obviously we're gonna use the waterways, right? So I might use this one right here um, Yeah, cuz it goes like this right like this round it off uh, so I'm gonna use this area for like wells and stuff like that um, and then one of the areas for example like this one uh, we could use it for dolphins and then this area right here it, it could be like maybe uh, some of the other animals since it's greenery and then over here on the side over there we could add maybe like lions and savannah animals that you would probably find um, like uh, giraffes and all that stuff and since we don't really have like a big area for all the pens uh, something that we could do is just add a, a big one right there like a big pen and then just combine some of the animals that you find there obviously we're not gonna put like a lion and a zebra or something like that because I don't think we'd have zebras for that long but just like certain animals who are uh, passive with each other we could put them all together maybe like a rhino and uh, maybe some pigs you know what I mean because we got wild pigs that are in the savannah as well so we could do that and then this area we could just do so much guys like we could do so much with this area uh, the main thing is finding where we could do the entrance and if I was to say by looking at this it would be really odd if we do it over there the same thing as over here is a little bit too far um, here it's I want to like save it since it's a big piece of land uh, we could add different like pens right here or corrals whatever you guys whatever you guys want to call it um, and then maybe this is where we could do the entrance where uh, you're basically this is the village this is outside and then as you're coming in maybe you, you start right here and then we have like some shops right there then we come across and then we have a bunch of animals right here um, and then uh, maybe in this uh, area right here uh, as soon as we come in uh, maybe the entrance is like over here right like right there by the other pen that we have uh, with all the cows uh, maybe we could add the entrance right there and then this little area could be like a courtyard uh, for like all the shops and like a resting area like a food court and stuff like that since that'd be a really good idea and then we could just connect it with like bridges going across um, yeah and uh, yeah this could be all like animals as well as this and then that could be like for wells and stuff like that like killer wells and and then this for like dolphins and uh, yeah like bird area maybe that could be like the birds because it's a little bit like in the forest like it's already there might as well add like the forest right there and then this giant hill right here maybe we could do like a giant statue of something um that way it'd be like standing now you know what i mean so i think i just came up with that guys just by looking at the area obviously i still need to plan it out i'm probably gonna get like some maps and then just map it out this whole area that we have and then just like draw over it like doodle over it and then come up with like uh, the perfect area because I need to come up with the list of all the animals that I need to add right so once I have the list it's gonna be a little bit easier to plan it out but just by looking at it I think that's gonna be the perfect thing to do and then we could just add like bridges connecting one side to the other and uh, yeah really cool and then we could add like these uh, small rivers we could add a bunch of fish and uh, overall guys this could be really really cool we could add even some turtles I forgot about the turtles we could add turtles oh my god this is 
being perfect you know what i mean uh we could add monkeys maybe like right here uh birds and then snakes and then we could maybe go underground and do something underground as well uh maybe go like under uh the water right here you know like going there connecting this to that and like you literally go underground under the water so you could look up and uh, it could be like the coral reef or something so it'd be like really really nice and uh, yeah we could do the whole thing right here guys um so i'm really excited guys i got a lot of plans uh but the first thing that i want to do is maybe come up with the map first right we need to map it out uh like plan it out and then the entrance is probably going to be the first thing we do and uh, i think it's like i said it's going to be in this general general area right there so uh, the main thing i need to do now is get a bunch of wood and think of like the the way we're going to do the entrance and then from there on we could do the pathway and then just uh, map out like the areas for the corrals where the animals are going to be and just get, get get an overall look of it and then just start making them guys so it's going to be really interesting um but i think that's going to be it for this episode guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket place out